<laughs> uh, we've used social media since probably 09, so since the inception of what we were trying to do. Um, I, I think our marketing strategy happens in a very visual type of brand because that's fitness, right? Um, we're on pretty much everything you can be on right now. Um, but we've sort of done the interesting thing in that we've taken social media and then brought it into the kind of more traditional marketing. Uh, so we've had the opportunity to do some spots on CTV, on global television, on Edmonton Journal just recently, uh, a whole bunch of other things. So it's really that translation back and forth in between sort of what we see as social online people interacting um, to the actual visual component, which is sort of the paper media and uh, TV and stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay, Christy, what's your marketing strategy then and now? Uh, we definitely didn't have one when we opened. Um, just word of mouth is huge for our business, so of course we use all channels of social media that we can. I did have a marketing company that worked for Keyline, but our budget is very small on the marketing, so we do take advantage as much as we can on free marketing um, ways through the business. Another reason why I started the direct selling program is because if um, these women that are buying into the business and buying into the licensing of selling Keylime, they're all out there talking about um, my business. So um, I guess the biggest thing is now I've learned to plan a couple months ahead of time when activities and promotions and stuff are going on instead of just winging it the week before. Travis? Um, yeah, I, I guess when we started there, um, and, and I do have a bit of a, a marketing background too, um, but we have a very um, small group of clients. So, you know, to go out and kind of go mass stream um, wasn't something that we, we needed to do. But, you know, as a company and as a startup and everything, there's two things that I, I think start to emerge is, you know, there's a company brand and a personal brand. And so it was more of that personal brand that I had to get engaged with on the, on the social media side. Um, and it, it just, for me, became one of the most important tools um, to start connecting like-minded people. So I was never selling my business directly through, you know, search engine optimization or really clever blog pieces. It was, you know, indirectly about personal passion and, and like-minded people. But um, yeah, like when you have such a small client base, it's a really different engine that you, you kind of work with. Right. Yeah.